The Nexus 5 has finally landed in our office and you probably already know that this is a device that costs half the price of other flagship phones, yet it packs the same super powerful Snapdragon 800 chip inside it. So how does it fare in the benchmarks? We'll just quickly run some essential benchmarks to take a look at the processor and graphics and overall synthetic performance of the handset and draw some first conclusions before we jump into more detail in our review. So first, let's start with the N22 benchmark. So we'll just run the test right now and start. And the N22 benchmark is over and we get a pretty decent score of 24,280 just below the HTC One and way above the Note 2, Sony Xperia Z and actually even the Google Nexus 10. So definitely a, a very decent result. We, we are running here a Snapdragon 800 quad-core chip at up to 2.3 GHz with 2 gigs of RAM. So a very very admirable result for a device that costs just half the price of other top shelf androids. And here's a breakdown of the N22 results of the Nexus 5, it's multitask, Dalvik CPU. This test is actually testing also, also the RAM and GPU performance as well as the input-output operations. Let's also run the GFX Bench graphics benchmark. This is a very stressful graphical test and we'll skip registration and go on to the performance test. So we don't have network connection right now, we'll just proceed with uh, the T-Rex HD test, the Egypt HD, and that's about it. Let's start. And now the GFX bench test is over and here are the result, results taken into account that the Nexus 5 runs on the latest Adreno 330 graphics chip at 450 MHz. It's uh, the same chip that we actually find in headsets like the Galaxy Note 3 and LG G2. The results are, are very good. Take into account that the 2.7 T-Rex HD test is a very stressful graphical test so no other handset can, can actually pass across the 300 smooth frame rate threshold but the next 5 approaches it pretty closely with 20, 21 fps and 23 fps so pretty solid results overall and for more details make sure to head to phonearena.com thanks for watching